I asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see next. The one that got the most votes was Q&A, but the, how I grew my Instagram was like, it was pretty up there. So I think that I'm still gonna include that in this video too. So I got my little, my little water. I have my questions right here. So just so you guys know, I will like include in the bottom like timestamps. So if like you had a specific question you asked or like you just wanted to know about how I grew my Instagram, I'm gonna hopefully remember to put timestamps down there. I'm gonna start with like the most, the more general questions. So, or like the most popular question. One of them said, am I Hispanic? So yes, I'm Latina. My dad is from Guatemala. My mom is from Mexico. Um, so. I'm Mexican Guatemalan. Asked if I spoke Spanish. Yes, I speak Spanish, but like, I'm, I kind of get nervous with my Spanish. I'm very chill. I can talk like when I go to my class or I talk to my parents, like if there's people that only speak Spanish, I can, I can have a conversation with them. I still get really nervous to speak like on camera. I'm probably not going to speak very much Spanish unless like I get really used to this. Pero si hablo español, soy mexicana guatemalteca. Mi mamá es de Nayarit Tepic y mi papá es de Escuintla, Guatemala. Yeah, so there's a little bit of Spanish for you guys. That's probably as much as I'm going to do right now. But hopefully as the thing, you know, like as it progresses, I'll include a little bit of more Spanish. And ask me where am I originally from? I'm not really sure if you meant like my parents or you mean like where was I born? I'm originally from Los Angeles. I moved here when I was about seven years old. So by here, I mean Nebraska. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. So most of my life I've lived here. It's chill, it's Nebraska. So we currently have like half a million people. So it's, it's pretty big, it's not small. Wow. It feels small, but it's not small. I also had a lot of questions about um, my design stuff. So like, how did I get into it? Um, what inspires me? Did I go to school? Um, so I think I've always been like interested in art. My dad, I remember from like a small age, he like taught us how to like sew and stuff like that. So like, I remember sewing my Barbie some outfits. I remember like being really interested in photography since I was little. I remember in high school, I like did this program where I would go like to school after school so that I could like go to that photography class because it wasn't available during my high school hours. I got a full ride scholarship to college from UNO. And I remember when I was applying, I have, I have Latino parents and you know, art and Latino parents, they're like, that isn't, you know, that, that you're not gonna make money doing that. So I switched over to a psychology major when I first started off. And I think I did about like a month or two in psychology and I realized like, this ain't it. Like, I don't like this. I talked to my advisor and they were like, okay, well, what do you do? What do you like, you know? So I was like, I really like photography and UNO doesn't offer a photography program, but like you can outsource to Metro and the scholarship will still, like, it'll still cover it. And then I changed over to photography, but I still had to get my gen ed. So while I was getting my gen ed, um, I got pregnant during my sophomore year of college. I was the photojournalist for uh, the UNO paper, the newspaper. So I would like go and take pictures, go to like sports events, go to um, sorority events and just like take pictures. And like doing that, I realized that photography does not have a stable hour. It, it doesn't have stable hours. It's not like a nine to five where, you know, you clock in, you do your hours and then you get out. It's like sporadic hours usually evenings and when i was pregnant i was like damn like this ain't gonna work it wasn't stable enough to like be a mom but somebody was like have you ever thought about graphic design I never even heard of graphic design graphic design you can utilize your photography skills like you could still be a photographer and use that skill within that realm but you had to learn other stuff as well and i was like all right like let's try it like I took my first class and I think immediately I was like, like, I like this. You had to create the images and you had to create the logo and the, and the, um, the patterns that were gonna be used throughout it and the type, the typography and the color scheme. And you know, like I remember creating my first brand, you know, my fake little brand. It spoke to me so much that I was like, this is what I wanna do. Like, when I was in UNO actually, I had um, 
like a student work position at UNO. So this was not my newspaper job. I had gotten another like work study thing with UNO in the communications department. I really liked it. When I was graduating, my teacher was like, just so you guys know, like eight out of 10 of you guys are not gonna do something with the graphic design field. And I was like, what? Like I just got this degree, like what do you mean? I was applying at different places and I finally got this one job and it was like, it was, what was it called? like an intern position. It was an intern position with this like little e-commerce. Long story short, I hated it. They had me doing like email work. They had me doing everything that like I didn't study for. Like it was like so repetitive. It was not design. It was more like making sure the emails were up, making sure the copy was good, making sure that, you know, everything was scheduled and it was just not what I wanted. And I was there for like three years. Um, it just felt like, I could be doing something much greater with my time. It was never about like being a freelancer. It was just about finding something that made me feel like I was doing something. It wasn't just sitting at a desk doing the same thing every day. I like, I wanted something different. I knew freelancing, I could work with anybody, you know, and I have worked with a bunch of different people within my community and I'm so grateful, especially with a lot of the people that started off trusting me. They didn't know anything about me. Like I had never put any work out and they kind of just like blindly trusted me and I'm forever grateful for that because without that, I wouldn't have created such a big, diverse, um, like a portfolio for people to like now trust me. They can't say more better things about my community and the way that they've helped me um, grow as a designer, as a mom, as a person, like just, I'm so grateful, forever grateful. If you have more questions about that, let me know. I feel like I try to give like a rough overview of it because I'm already at 14 minutes. Another question I had a lot was like dating. Am I dating? Yes and no. I feel like dating is not a priority in my life at this point, especially when like running a business, being a mom, like doing all these mom sports for my son, trying to start a YouTube, trying to do the influencing thing, being a teacher. A lot of the times dating feels like it's taking away from everything. I don't wanna say it has to be perfect for it to work um, or like for me to want to date, but it, it has to feel very like easy and very um, like authentic. I definitely will. And I think I like, I'm, I've started off like finally being like, okay, like, let me reply, you know, like just stuff like that. But it is not one of my favorite things to do. I'm more of like, not a relationship person, but like, if I like one person, I'm not gonna date around. Like, I, I like that person. And I think that ends up fucking me over at the end. Find somebody that I feel really comfortable with and I like how they think and I like the way they treat me. I, I stay there and, um, and then like, it just, it either works or it doesn't. Like, would you date a follower? I feel like followers are just like, y'all just normal people. Like y'all just like me, I follow people too. I think it depends on the approach. If you're being weird and kind of creepy, then no, I'm not gonna respond to you. If you're kind, if you're nice, if you're cool, you know, like we, if we hold conversations and it doesn't feel very forced, then yeah, I mean, that's just what it is. And the last thing I wanna talk about was um, how I grew my Instagram depth with this, cause I feel like it's a lot, um, but some of the things that I remember helping me, and even at this point, like things that always help me grow my following, posting a lot. I know most people don't want to post a lot because it feels like I'm doing a lot, I'm doing too much. And especially if you're trying to grow your Instagram for like a purpose, like you wanna be an influencer, or you wanna like, how you have a brand, or you, you know, like you're a coach, you know, like stuff like that, like post post sometimes like we get in our own head about it but like if you can post every other day and you have content for every other day post every other just make sure that whatever you like consistently put out so like if you want to make a schedule of like posting every second or every third day make sure that you can continue that for like the foreseeable future because it doesn't help if you post like for two weeks you post every other day and then you just fall off for like a month. Like, yeah, you'll grow a little bit, but you'll fall, falling off will like kind of mess up that algorithm. And not just like your posting, like not just your feed, but like your stories, keep your people engaged, ask questions and you guys interact with me or just stuff like that. I feel like that helps push your algorithm up. Using your hashtags, using um, like 
popular trends, do your reels, interact. So like when people tell you stuff in your posts, make sure to say thank you or make sure to say something because Instagram doesn't recognize if it's another person commenting or if you're commenting back. Like it's just pushing your, your numbers up. So if you're trying to grow your Instagram, make sure the engagement is up, make sure you're replying, make sure you're posting, make sure, you know, like you're doing all that. I know everybody says to have a niche and slowly I've been going into like the fashion niche. Um, I don't know if you necessarily need a niche. I think it helps a lot if you do, but I think just show your personality. Um, the people that like you will like you and the people who don't, you know, like they'll unfollow, you know, like I think on an average day, if I have like 20 new followers, I have like 10 unfollows you know so it's like you're gonna lose people and you're gonna gain people and i think at the end of the day you gotta be okay with that because the people that are for you will find you and the people that aren't for you or think you're annoying or whatever will like unfollow you so just keep keep going i think it's just a numbers game a waiting game um mm -hmm. people get to know you they either like you or they don't gonna like you or gonna like you and the people that aren't they're just not for you but that's it. Um, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, tell me what you think. Any more questions, leave it down in the comment section. Thank you for supporting me. I hope you learned a little bit about me. Cheers.